Hello again, I'm Ray, G4NSJ, with my coffee. Part two of the Radio Sonder weather balloon business. I've learnt a little bit more now, so I thought I'd do a second video. Hopefully you've seen the first one, if not, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I've learnt a little bit more about it all, so what I'm not going to do is wrap it on for about ten minutes before we actually get into the video, because I know that annoys everyone. It does me. So let's start straight away. This is what you get when you go to the website, uh, what is it, radiosondhub.org. No, radio okay, this is what you get, and this is how to muck about with the settings. Right, this is what you get when you first load up. You can see at the top right the question mark there. Can you see that there? If you press that, that gets rid of that lot. Now there's a balloon, okay, with the mouse, so you can see the balloon there. You can move that around. Click on the balloon. If it's clear like that, it means it's going up. If it's a parachute, it's coming down. So click on that. And it's just come up from here. Click on that circle where it was launched. Lark Hill. OK, so there it is. Go over to the column on the left here. And you can see what's going on. Battery, 2.9 volts. Transmitting on 404.4 megs. Altitude, 12,500 feet there. Temperature up there minus 9.4 the balloon is now coming down there's the parachute so click on that then you've got your information here altitude 25,000 feet that's coming down all the time temperature minus 38 C still transmitting on 404.4 megs so that now is coming down you've got settings up here what you can do here is I've switched to Imperial units here because I like feet. Aircraft, you know, they'll say they're at 30,000 feet, not metres. So it gives me more of an idea of what sort of height the thing is at. High chase cars from the map. I don't want the map too cluttered. Only show visible on sidebar. You see here, I've got one balloon. OK, or well, one parachute now. And on the left is the, the details of that. If you take that off... It shows all the balloons. So if I zoom out here, there we are, they're all over the place, all over Europe, look. And e even if I click on my one, I've still got all this on the left here, which I don't want. So only show one visible on sidebar there. That's it, that makes it easier. The weather, up the top there, that's the sunshine. I like the rain viewer on. We have a lot of rain in the UK, as you probably know. And it's nice to see where the rain is. If I zoom out, oh, there we are. All over Cardiff, down there, Cornwall. Just over Calais there. The only thing is, oh yeah, if you get lost like that, you don't know where your balloon is, click on the balloon there, on the left. You see that there? And it brings it back into the centre. The only thing is with the weather forecast, it doesn't stay. Next time I load the programme, you have to set the, the rain again. Now this is interesting, this one here, look, that's come from Plymouth, I don't know, didn't know there was a launch site down there, what is it, 33,000 feet, 400.264 megs, I'll have a listen to that in a minute, that, if that heads my way, I might, I don't know which way, look, there's me, see there's me, that little man there, near Brighton, if this comes my way, might stand a chance of finding it. Mind you, you don't know where it's going to go. It could go in the sea or up here, anywhere. That chase car is meant to be hidden. But that's interesting. I didn't know there was a launch site there. In fact, that's a different one. The manufacturer is Lockheed Martin. The other is a LMS6 sond type. That's different. I should have to look into that. There's one up here, look. That's the usual manufacturer. What is it? Vesala, Vesala, whatever. That's the RS-41, which is up... Uh, what's that doing? Oh, it's landed, I think. Hampstead Heath. That's landed there. Look at all these all over Europe. Incredible, isn't it? You can see which way the wind's blowing. Kind of northeast. So this is the one that interests me. Where's this going to land? Chatting to a friend of mine on the radio, and we were saying... The wind is always in the wrong direction <laughs> you know, for us to catch these things when they land, to go and find them. This is a problem I'm having. You see the wind direction here, look, going up to the north. Anything that's released here, obviously, is going to 
head that way, not my way, because um, I'm there, look, 59 Fahrenheit there at the moment. So this is the problem. Anything released from here, from Cornwall or wherever, it's all going to go this way. Very often, the wind comes from the west, like that, right across there. So if something is released here, we might be lucky to pick it up here. But um, that is certainly a problem. Uh, what is nice is the wind coming from the south. It's bringing up the warm air from Spain and Mediterranean and all that lot. So that's rather good. If we go out further... The wind is bringing all the warm air from down here up to the UK, which is rather nice. But uh, that's interesting. I shall have a listen now on 400 264 megs. And there it is. Look, there it is. 400 two, oh, 265. 264, it said. Anyway, that's near enough. So there it is. Pretty strong. I shall follow that and uh, find out where it lands. That receiver on the screen there, that's a SDR, Software Defined Radio, RSP2 Pro that I use. Covers, what is it, sort of DC up to, I think, 2 gigs. So quite useful for this sort of thing. I've only got an aerial in the loft, so, you know, it's nothing special. Um, the parachute, right, so when it's go when the thing is going up, it's the balloon. When it's coming down, I think, was the parachute blue, wasn't it? When it's landed... I think the parachute's red. I'm not 100% on that, but the, the parachute turns red. So it's either landed or about to land. I'll show you where that landed in a minute. Uh, just out of interest, the one from Plymouth, uh, Roy, my mate, reckons that's a, a naval one. That's why it's come up from Portsmouth. Plymouth. Was it Plymouth? Yeah, Plymouth, wasn't it? Um, LMS6, Lockheed Martin is the manufacturer. Also, they do another model, which works up on 1.68 gigs. Um, 1676, 1678, 1680, 1682 um, megahertz, 60 milliwatts, and those ones that operate up there, apparently they send back the barometric pressure, whereas the other ones don't, so that's quite interesting. I, I'm going to have a listen around the 1.68 gigs area, just scan around there. Um, and see if anything pops up there. Now let's see where that one landed. Not sure on the balloon colours. There's green, purple and red. So there it goes across there. Uh, I've got three different shots of it. Finally turning red there near Salisbury. So that's come down. I must look into the parachute colours. It obviously means something. I must, uh, I must have a look and find out what's what. Still don't know everything about all this. It's a, a very interesting um, addition to the radio hobby, though, I suppose, which is great fun. I think that's about it. What I will be doing is using a little bow fang, you know, the, what is it, UV5R or whatever it is, for tracking, you know, when you get closer to them. You can have a listen on here. I know these are FM only, and the balloons send out the digital signal, but it doesn't matter. You can track it on here. And when you get closer, take the aerial off, because it'll be quite a powerful signal, and then just use this. Obviously, the, the stronger that it gets, the nearer you get to the thing. What I have seen people on YouTube videos doing is run a lead from there to a, a Yagi aerial, a beam, you know, and you can then do a bit of uh, direction finding, which is a, a good idea. But um, I might look into getting this ready, because you know what will happen? One will land somewhere near to me, and I won't be ready. I won't have my little radio all set up and ready to go. So that's something else I've got to sort out. Just one more thing. That there is where it's landed. Oh, look, there's me, look. There's one that's landed there. These green dots, if you've got them turned on, are the receiving stations. That means that's landed there. These green lines here are from receiving stations. So you can follow the green line and see which station is receiving the data from the balloon. That, you see that little thing there whatever it is looks like some little clouds that's where the balloon burst okay either by sending a signal to burst the balloon or it's got to such a height that the balloon has burst that's what that means there's a receiving station there and that little thing there is where it's predicted to land i mean this one is very close you can see on that one that is where it is predicted to land okay with the wind direction and everything, they reckon it'll land there. 
Okay, I think that's about it. Look at my website, g4nsj.co.uk. Go for November, Sierra Juliet. g4nsj.co.uk. Uh, go to the main menu on there. Scroll down, I think it's the bottom of the page. I've got the Radio Sond Weather Balloon page there, which uh, I hope to add more photos and information to uh, as we go on. Excellent. Thanks for watching, as always. I shall see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye for now.